say it was another great step moving forward um, to my uh, pursuance of excellence, I guess. Um, say it was the 5x7 of 315. Man, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> um, again, I didn't feel too great coming into this workout. Um, just uh, the work at work. A real job is piling up a lot. It's almost the end of the year, so I want to get a lot of stuff done. So, <sighs> it's kind of getting stressful, but um, so my approach again, um, just like Wednesday, was uh, a lot of aggressiveness, blocking out noise, and um, just doing what works uh, and uh, grinding that out. Um, Voice. Um, but I think the important thing is like uh, the great lessons I learned was on Monday uh, I did fail miserably on those uh, intense works but what I did was I didn't dwell on that and then I still finished the volume and uh, still you know got all the necessary tonnage in and then on Wednesday I had a great workout but I didn't come in expecting the same result. Um, I, I picked up what I learned from both of the sessions and uh, just went forward and trying to progress on my goals. Um, 5x7 for 315, I believe, is a PR of some sort. I don't think I've done that many reps for that many sets. Uh, maybe I've done that every rep before. But um, it was great. Um, I had uh, Marshall uh, sit with me uh, while I was squatting, and uh, he was very, a, a very, very, very great motivational uh, spotter. He he knew when to say the right cues, when to uh, give me the right, just you know, just just to right my yelling. I I usually have a music volume to the max, but having just someone watch me and tell me good cues, you know. Um, he also knows my, my hips were my weaknesses, and hips don't lie, <laughs> and that's uh, that's great, and then him and I had a great conversation about, you know, the same lesson I learned on Monday, it's, it's the volume that counts, um, and it's not the only lesson I learned on Monday, but it's a, it's a realization that uh, came to fruitfulness, and um, it was good um, having someone there um, to motivate you, and and a lot, lot of my result is is honestly not for me. It's, it's from my environment, and uh, Marshall is a very good, uh, a very good part of the ecosystem um, with everyone else that's around me. All my friends in the past, um, currently, and everyone around me. So you know, having someone like that around, it, it definitely fires you up, amps you up. And gets you moving forward, and uh, and having someone you know understand um, what training is about. Uh, him and I talked about you know not only you know physiology, nutrition, such and such. Um, but we were just sh uh, shooting the shit while I was taking my breaks, and he was talking about um, basically you know we, we were just kind of getting on what what, what makes progress, uh, what what get people through especially you know for us natural lifters and uh he he actually wants to start a podcast and such and which was great for him we kind of kept going off a tangent of, of uh what we thought was uh progression he's you know he, he's an olympic lifter uh, from the crossfit background um call myself a power lifter i barely anything like that but I'm, i come from a bodybuilding background but talking to each other um it's different um, different routes, but the foundation it once you get into the training um, you you realize you realize what 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 it takes to uh, make progress it, you know it, it comes down to foundation and robustness uh, not not dwelling on you know failure not dwelling on you know superior success uh, always moving forward um, and and today I, I, I had you know, Marshall you know, helped me out. You know, I mean, just just ha having someone's presence there um, and the motivation, the encouragement, 
it, it definitely helps out. And I was talking about someone, you know, someone, I need someone to call me out too if I'm being a little bitch. If I'm uh, slacking. It, it, it's, it's a balance. And, uh, you know, you can never have too much of one thing. Um, except for beer. <laughs> But uh, it it's great workout session. Um, you should have seen me during the gym. I was basically dancing the whole time. I was really excited about hitting those lifts. Um, this is a PR on the 135 overhead press. I got 10 reps on that, so I was really happy with that. Every time I'm hitting PRs, um, I gotta realize like I mean, it, it, once in a while it does stall. You know, bench I kind of failed maybe three weeks, three or two weeks ago maybe. But, you know, I'm, I'm hitting great numbers now. Everything feels a lot lighter. So, in the end, um, you know, moving, just learning to move forward, no matter how small the steps are. Uh, if you can make that jump, make that jump. But make sure you uh, you land properly, you know. Don't, 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 don't be too, uh, don't be too distracted from the goal. Um, and eventually, you know, hopefully that'll help me out. Um, and I met a couple other new people. Today was Friday, so there wasn't too many. Uh, this is for a speed bench, by the way. I just recorded the first and last set. I'm really happy with that 175. But, and, you know, a lot of people were very encouraged. They were asking a bunch of good questions. Um, and and they, they were motivating me, too. Um, you know, they saw me as a uh, someone that could inspire them, and that, that inspires me. I, I don't really see myself as a great lifter or anything like that. Um, I'm still learning a lot, but if I can share what my past experiences are, and what what, what I actually learned in corporate world, you just gotta tell them, and it's also at risk too. So um, I tell them what I know, I tell them what I don't know, and overall, uh, great session, and I'm looking forward to uh, progressing. Remember, you can never drink too much, you can only drink too fast, be the wolf, not the sheep.